G'day my friends, it's Marty Ware from Marty's Garden and today we've got question and answers day. Yes, it's subscriber advice and the question is from Well Prepped Pantry. Marty, what do you recommend to deal with white flies or aphids that attack basil? Well, I've got an answer for you, Well Prepped Pantry, and it's going to cover much more than just basil. Let's go, shall we? Marty's Garden teaches you how to grow fresh food in urban places and small spaces. So you mentioned in the rest of your question, I've tried neem oil, water, spray, companion planting with marigolds and mint. The mint is getting devoured by them too, <laughs> go figure. Now my answer is, it sounds like to me that you've got an infestation of these little critters. Yes, these guys just breed like wildfire and they really can make a lot of damage on your plants. What they do is they get in and they suck that sap, see the sap is the nutrition that's flowing through your plants that keeps the plants alive and if you lose sap flow and you, the plants lose nutrition guess what no more plants but what I recommend that you do and this has been successful for me is change to pyrethrum and white oil so pyrethrum and white oil mix can be bought very cheaply from most shops even from like places like our supermarkets and things like that, if you can't get them there cheaply, also just go to your local nursery and ask them to pick it up. Now you need to spray your plants every couple of days with an infestation. I would even get in there every day for a week and then the last week after that, after the first week you've done, go in and just check and make sure that they're not started up. I would say that you've probably bought them in on a plant from another nursery or there might be a garden nearby and they've created the infestation that way. Step two is your long-term approach to this. Now you've mentioned about some uh, companion planting. Well, what a lot of people do with companion planting, and this can be a bit of a mistake, is they plant rows of plants and then the rows of the companion beside them. And what happens is the pest can still jump from plant to plant very easily. And so once it's finished on the one plant or it goes, hey, hang on, we've got lots of babies, let's move them to the next. Then they'll move them along to the next plant. So the companions aren't really doing anything. They need to be sort of sporadically planted throughout the garden. Now, as, uh, you know, English gardeners and things like that, you know, we come from this sort of background where we plant everything nice and neat and perfect. But in nature, things don't grow like that. So what I recommend is you plant things in threes and in structure that you can still go and harvest easily but you confuse the plants with the different scents, smells and colours. The next step, well prep pantry, this is a big one because ants are a killer in the garden. Yes, they serve a purpose, they burrow in the ground and create aeration and do lots of cool things, but they also harvest aphids. Yes, they're farmers and they harvest, harvest aphids and scale. Yes, they love them. And what happens is, is the aphids give them a little bit of a sugary substance that comes out from them and feeds the ants. And that way the ants will take care of the aphids from any predators. So you need to find a way to stop the ants from getting around your plants. Uh, that could be, you know, you might have to poison the ants or you might have to find a way to block up the nest, something like that. But that's a whole new, whole new video basically. But yeah, control the ants if you can. So if they're going up a tree, you put some double-sided tape around the your fruit tree or something like that and that really helps the other thing is you need to start introducing more animals into the garden so such as lizards frogs birds all those predators and then the other insects will start coming in now lady beetles will eat one and a half times their weight in food every day so they're your favorite predator <laughs> for these guys they just gobble them up and they're not too worried about ants so if you can provide habitat for these guys to come in such as large leaf plants where they can hide underneath they love parsley they like flowers so if you've got a wider planting of, of companion plantings of different colors and different plants they will eventually come in so if you see them you need to stop spraying and let them start eating so there you have it, Well Prep Pantry. If you follow those methods, you're going to get results. Just think long term when you're gardening. And if you ever get infestations, get onto them quickly because they can create a lot of problem in the future. So if you haven't subscribed to Marty's Garden and you're new to the show and you want to learn more about growing fresh food fast in urban places and small spaces, then please subscribe to my channel. There's some extra cards and things up here at the top and some videos along the side and you're really going to enjoy the new content coming up. Have a great day, happy gardening and we'll see you at the next video real soon.
Bye for now.